going on, boys and girls? Here are we all today. Got a video here for you. This is the re-uploaded uh, Bob's Breakdown series that I did about eight or nine months ago when I did my uh, Team Fear brainstorming video thing of Bob a couple of days ago. I did ask if anyone wanted me to re-upload um, the episodes of Bob's Breakdown that, as, as I said, I did about eight or nine months ago. It was a very popular series. A lot of people really liked it, but I stopped making it because I didn't have the, the editing skills to make it as good as it could be. It didn't look as fucking... It, it wasn't what I pictured in my head, but I'm going to put the effort in now, learn the editing shit so I can make this series something something really special because, as I said, this was a very popular two videos that I did do. A lot of people learned a lot of things and I had a lot of positive feedback with it. So what I'll need you to do, if you want to be in the new series of Bob's Breakdown, I'm going to leave a comment in the comment section of this video. All you need to do is reply to that comment with a YouTube link of your gameplay. I'll go through and watch them all, pick one that I think is going to be best suited. And then, boom, I can start making um, the new series of Bob's Breakdown. Um, so, yeah, I'll, um, I'll shut up now and let you fucking watch this shit. Um, yeah, hope you like it. Like, subscribe, comment, all that other bullshit. You didn't like the video, hit the refresh. I'm sure it'll grow over here over time. And until the next one, boys, who break off to the right. Sort of get yourself on an angle to, to pick the guys off that go to these spots um, to snipe down that main fucking train line. And he's come back. This is... Probably, probably not the best best play here because look look at the size of the um, the gap that he's got to shoot at. Um, he's lucky he's got some good gun skill on the guys he's playing. Don't look to be the smartest. What I would do in this situation is either break off to the left where B is, come up uh, on that rock there, and you can sort of get a um, a good a good angle to fucking snipe uh, those guys that are hard scoping down the front of the bridge. That's what I'd do in that situation. He's going off to get special here. Smart move. Always. Always pick special up, guys. Whether you need it or not, you never know. Later on down the map, you might need some special. Um, he's coming back to this top top bridge here. He's right out in the open. It's probably not, probably not the best idea to be right open. Now here he starts to push up. This is what he needs to be doing. Uh, pressure, pressure, pressure. Always in when you're playing Crucible, guys. You've got to be, you've got to be pushing. Now he knows there's guys above him. He's using that radar. Very smart play here. Throwing that grenade up. And boom. Rewarded with a double kill. That's... That's a beautiful play. Now he's pushing back a bit, which is what he should be doing because the enemy team are now going to know sort of where he is, what he's done. They're going to come after him. So smart, smart of him to back off there. He's coming, coming back to this spot. I'm not, I'm not a big fan of of this here because it's it's right out in the open. There's nowhere where he can quickly duck back into cover. Especially he's not paying attention to someone could be flanking from B, you know, and coming through that door um, onto the his right hand side and come straight behind him and shoot him. He'll never know. Um, now he's, he's poking over there. Yep, good good headshot. He's lucky he's got the gun skill um, on that guy. Now pushing up. To, he's looking at his radar. He's got an enemy here. Throwing a lightning grenade, so it's not a smart idea to push out. Um, getting a little peek off to the left. Um, rightio. He's got teammates in front of him, which is... That, that's always a smart play. Let them run out. Be the uh, Let them be the bullet catchers for you, especially if you're playing with guys that you aren't partied up with. Nice little headshot there. The dude's pushing over. See, this is smart buying. He's moving left and right. Uh, strafing when he's shooting, making himself become a harder target uh, to hit. And he's pushing up here. This is smart. He's got to be looking at his radar here. He sees there's guys in that train tunnel. This is what I was talking about before. He's got a... Ooh, mm. I knew what he was doing there, going for the landfall. Probably in that situation, what the better move would have been is to go through that big garage door on the right-hand side uh, and then pop, your, then pop your radiance. That way you've got a straight, the enemies are right in front of you at all times. So he went, he went right into the guts of them. And obviously because he had, had the uh, fucking, that fucking electric slam, whatever, whatever, what's it called? Fucking, uh, oh, I'm having a mental blank. But anyway, I, I understand why he did it. But in the long run, it probably would have been smarter to come through that right hand side and push through that way. All the enemies are in front of him. He would have got all the kills and stayed alive. Um, right now he's, he's, He's liking sniping out in the open. He's got to be careful. They're going to spawn flip, which which has happened. Now, what he shouldn't be relying on his sniper so much. He's lucky that guy was just bum rushing straight ahead and wasn't moving. Um, what he needs to do here is push around to the left or to the right, sort of make it so no one can get really behind him. Because what he's doing here, right in the middle, relying on sniper. He can't. You can't see your radar in this situation. And yep, there you go. He's, there's a death. You're getting flinched by a mitre and you're trying to snipe. Probably not the smartest idea. As I said, push to the left, push to the right. Make yourself a harder target and also pull that primary out, guys. Never forget your primary. Um, he's pushing back out to mid-bridge. He likes, 
He likes sitting in this in this mid uh, mid tunnel bridge, whatever the fuck you want to call it, area. Now what I'd do here is push around to the right by that truck. Um, get yourself an angle to snipe those guys on top of. Um, no, oh, he's just gotten taken out there again. Depending too much on the sniper, he could have pulled his auto rifle out there and finished that guy off before he got the slam. Uh, but anyway, as I was saying, push over to the right by that truck. You can get an angle onto where though all the, the enemy team was. Pick up a couple easy snipes. You're a hard target for them to kill. And you're fucking laughing because you've got a couple kills. You're not dead. You're safe. Um, all right. Now he's, he's pushing up. He's got his, he got his super. He's just hard scoping down to their spawn. I know I sound a bit fucking critical with this, but it's... Just give him my honest opinion on what uh, what things can be done here to improve. Now he's probably spent a little bit too much time here on mid bridge than what I'd like. What I'd like to see him do is push back or push up to the left, which he's doing, and pop a super, which he does. Beautiful stuff. Picks up an easy kill. Uh, he's got another dude over to the left. He needs to push over there. There it goes. Easy kills. He's got guys behind him. Another dude to his left. He'll pick him up now. They should be spawning on that uh, flag point. There's one guy there. Three guys there. Should pick up some easy kills. Here now he should be backing up. He's made he's made the big plays, killed a few guys. They're gonna know where he is. He needs to back up, regroup with his teammates, and and go again from there. He's still challenging. There he goes. He's backed up smart. Now he needs to push. Probably I'd go under mid bridge, make it a little bit harder for guys to be able to see him. And unfortunately, didn't see that guy on radar on rock. Picks him up with the mitre, spawning back over here on B. He knows guys are gonna be spawning seaside there. Heavy is now coming in. He should be trying to lock down heavy. That rock on heavy, pick that up. It's so crucial to pick heavy up uh, in these games. He's got a guy, he needs to pull that doctrine out. Uh, relying too much on the sniper again. Uh, is he going to get it? No, it doesn't look. Yep, just give the. Uh, he just gave that guy a free kill, basically, just because depending too much on the sniper. Now he knows that uh, the enemy team's going to have rockets. 99% of people run rockets. What he needs to do is push around to the left inside and come around to the rock. He's got uh, teammates over there on the left. There's a lot of cover over there on Rock. Sitting out here in the open like this probably isn't going... There you go. He gets taken out very easily but with a rocket just being so wide out in the open. Uh, right, and he's going to... Don't like this push. He's got a guy to his left-hand side. There he goes. Pulls out the Doctrine. Very smart play there. Picks up an easy kill. Very smart stuff. Now, he should be pushing up to that Rock. He's... I've said it time and time again. I, just, I do not like this challenging mid-bridge like he's doing. It's just... It's so risk reward where you might get a kill you might get two lucky for chronic he's got some gun skill he has picked up a few kills in situations but it's just it's just guaranteed death every time you do that because guys are just going to gravitate to that fucking mid bridge on frontier and hard scope so i don't like what he's doing here just crouching with a he needs to be moving movement is so crucial in this game you need to you need to not be in the same place for more than bloody five seconds it's not it's not the uh the smartest thing to do now he's got a blade dancer he needs to turn around and run uh, he needs to, there he goes there. Uh, probably lucky that Blade Dancer didn't have any brains about him, and um, didn't didn't charge for him. That was a uh, that was a bit silly on his part. He's got guys to his left. Oh, there's a slam. Lucky he avoided that. Dude goes down. Now the whole enemy team is going to be spawning right on top of him. Now he needs to push, push back, regroup with his teammates, and then go again. He's still red bar. What, what's he doing? This is uh, he's running right into where they're going to spawn. This is not smart. It's not going to end well for him. He's got a couple guys on radar, one guy in front, two guys in front, a guy behind him, and there you go, gets uh, gets taken out. That wasn't smart trying to push their spawn like that. Should have backed up with his team. Would have been a lot safer for him. Pull the sniper back out again. He's going mid-bridge. Not, not a fan of this mid-bridge play. He's got two guys in front of him, picks one up, picks two up. He's lucky you come across guys that uh, apparently don't have thumbs. There's a hammer there. He needs to back off. Unlucky, unlucky. All right, looks like this gameplay is about to come to an end. I hope you guys did enjoy this. I hope you did learn a thing or two. It's the first one of these that I've ever done. I haven't made videos in such a long time. I understand they're not going to be the best. They will get better over time. As I said, I hope you learned something. They are for learning purposes. Um, so, yeah, if you guys liked it, hit that like. Um, if you've got gameplays that you want me to critique and give you know, some fucking some insights on what you could have done better, thing, things, tips or tricks, rah, rah, rah. At the end of the day, nobody's perfect, but little things can help in the long run. All right, guys, this has been Uncle Bobby B. I do stream on Twitch. I'll put a link in the description. I hope you've all come along. Check that out. I hope you liked the video. Hit fucking like, subscribe, all that fucking shit. And until the next one, guys, hooroo.
Hello, how the fuck are you? It's Uncle Bobby B here, and welcome to episode 2 of Bob's Breakdown. Now, I'm just using this fucking footage here of me dancing Outsider. around the reef uh, to explain what's going to be going on with this week's episode. We're gonna, I'm going to do something a little bit different. Um, looks like this cannon's trying to push fucking old mate off the map. That's a bit of a dick move. Anywho, what's going to be going on with this week's episode? It's going to be a two-part um, two sort of video. One uploaded now as you're watching it, and another one tomorrow. Now, part one's going to be uh, Rumble gameplay uh, that I've gotten. Basically, my thinking behind it is instead of me trying to break down and other people's gameplays and say like instead of doing this he should have done that he should have backed off here engaged here if I sort of use my gameplay and break down my thinking process and my movements it might uh, help you guys a little bit uh, more that's that's what I'm hoping if it doesn't work out then it doesn't work out but that's what we're going to try and then part two is going to be the standard me breaking down someone else's gameplay now I was going to upload that first but I spent all day making that video and upon watching watching it back I wasn't happy with it so I'm going to uh completely re redo um, that breakdown and upload this one first so I hope you guys do enjoy it I hope you guys do um, learn a thing or two from watching how I how I play I will break down my thought process going through the thing but uh, right let's get into it now first things first I want to go over the class I'm going to be using in this gameplay I'm going to be a blade dance hunter uh, this is the skill tree that I've got on this subclass using blink razor's edge uh, backstab. I do run maximum armor that I possibly can uh, for this subclass. I do like having the uh, increased armor over the recovery and agility. Um, so that's my that's the perk tree for the subclass. Uh, weapons I'm going to be running is the last word. Can't go wrong with the last word in a uh, game of Rumble. A lot of close quarters engagements. Uh, going to be running the thousand yard stair as well. I do like sniping. I'm good with sniping. It's what I'm comfortable with. That's why I run the sniper. The armor pieces that I'm wearing, maxim basically I put, use them to maximize my intellect discipline uh, on the class. I'll get my supers quicker, I'll get my grenades quicker. Also, the gauntlets increase reload on the hand cannon, so I'm going to have quick reload. The other stuff doesn't really matter, so uh, let's get into the, uh, the gameplay. Now, before we get into this gameplay, I just want to point out, I get myself into some situations uh, in this game that, if you are new to the game, probably isn't the smartest thing to do. I will point these... Uh, things out. The reason I get myself into them is I've been playing for over a year. I know shots that I can pull and I know how to get out of certain situations. So, but the biggest thing I want you to focus on is the way that I move around the map, the way that I control spawns and control engagements. Now, for example, uh, jumping up on the top there, probably not the smartest thing to do. Being on the ground on the uh, the right hand side of that box, I've got a bit more cover to pick up that, uh, that kill a lot easier. Now, heavy is coming in here. What I normally like to do with heavy is if you spawn into a game um, as it started, it's a lot easier. You pick up a couple of kills, build up some super, and then once heavy pops in, you pop your super defender, pick it up. Now, I picked up that heavy and got out of there as quick as possible. It's such an open, an open lane there, trying to grab that heavy. Guys can come from multiple directions, and you just want to grab it and get the fuck out of there. Um, now, I see a guy on radar here, just being patient, pick up an easy kill. Now, what you see me do here, I'm rushing down here. I know there's a guy that spawns right by that special box. Um, I probably should have picked the special up there. Not that I needed it, but it. It, then the other team, the other guys don't have heavy. Uh, special, I should say. Uh, always smart to pick up the special whether you need it or not, just so the enemy players do not have it. Now you see me sliding around and blinking around, using my uh, ability movements to get around the map as quickly as possible. I see there's a guy in here. Now, you don't, you got to be patient in situations like that. Normally what guys will do is they'll fucking get hit a couple times, run inside there, sit in the corner with a shotgun, wait for you to come through and take you out. Me being patient there, was able to take him out and he did pop his boogaloo as well. So that's a uh, a win-win in my book. So just got to be patient. Now I popped into that cave there as you saw. It was a safe spot for me to reload. Guy rushed in me, got the easy kill. Now this is a part where I wasn't really paying attention to my radar. That guy was a lot closer than I thought, but because I've been playing for a long time, I've got the experience, I knew right quick, throw a skip grenade, blink out of there, sort of disorientate that guy and pick up an easy kill. Now I've got another dude on the radar, uh, radar there as you saw, sort of jumped up on that circle thing, used used it as sort of a, a, a head glitch so I could see all of him and he can only see a little bit of me. A guy was challenging me from around there as you saw, I backed off, let my health recover, popped my blades, took him out nice and easy. Now you see me rushing right over here because I know there's going to be a guy that spawns in this uh, spot and I'll pick up an easy kill with the blades as it runs out. So that's just that just comes down to map knowledge and just experience um, playing playing the game. Now there's going to be a guy spawning over here at the special. Uh, I do miss my shot. I need to get out of here. It's not smart me trying to challenge uh, that engagement. As Again, you saw me using my abilities, blink, slide, getting out of there as fast as 
I possibly could. And also blinking and sliding, you make yourself a harder target to be hit by the enemy. Now you see here what I'm doing, a safe safe place to reload. Now I'm sniping down this corridor here, but if I sort of miss a shot, I can duck off to the left and I'm behind that wall. So a, um, a smart place to, to position yourself. You guys might want to use that uh, when you play. Now I miss a shot there. I know the guy's going to peek around here to the left. There's a little spot there. You can take a quick, nice little shot and I'll pick up the, uh, pick up the kill. Now I've got a guy on radar here, sliding around, pick up an easy headshot on a guy I wasn't watching. There's another dude on radar, I'll just wait for him. This, that's just map knowledge and experience in the game, knowing where he was going to come out, aiming my sniper at head level, taking him out. I do get a dirty snipe on that um, Titan rushing me there. The smart thing to do in that situation would have been to back off, use that rock behind me to my advantage, get myself in a bit of cover and take him out. Uh, that would have been the safer thing to do. But again, I say I've been playing for a year. I know I can pull some of these uh, shots off. Now you saw there was a hammer right in front of me. I just wanted to get out of there. You never really want to challenge anyone uh, with a super like that. Heavy is coming in. I use my super trying to uh, defend the uh, defend the heavy. Pick up an easy kill there. I was lucky that guy was weak uh, and I killed him before he got me with his uh, fist of panic. Now you see I did leave the heavy and rushed all the way over here. It's because a guy normally spawns in this area, and I was thinking I'd be able to pick him up nice and easy before he um, realized what was going on. But uh, saw that guy on the radar, picked him off. Now, I hope you guys did learn a thing or two. I know this was very quick, and I've fucking been talking very fast. I'm going like crazy. But I hope you did learn a thing or two. Watch it a couple times. Uh, sort of understand my movements, and um, I, hope it did, I hope it did help you. Part two will be up tomorrow, guys, so I hope you do enjoy it. Hit the like, hit the fucking subscribe, all that other... All that other shit, and uh, until tomorrow, guys. Hooroo.